Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will explain second interesting problem based on root locus plot. So let us read the question first. See in question, we need to obtain root locus plot for unity feedback system with system gain g of s is equals to this. To obtain root locus plot, first of all, we need to identify loci. Loci means total number of lines. To obtain total number of lines, we need to see poles and zeros. If you observe numerator roots that explain zeros, so first zero that is there at s is equals to minus 2 and second zero that is there at s is equals to minus 3 and denominator roots that explains poles. So here first pole that is there at s is equals to minus 1 and second pole that is there at s is equals to plus 1. So how many poles are there? Total poles are 2 and how many zeros are there? Total zeros are also 2. So total number of loci that is maximum of p and z. So maximum of p and z that is 2 only. So here we will be having 2 lines. Those lines will be emerging from the poles and that is getting enclosed to the zeros, right? So here we have two lines that will emerge from the two different poles and that is getting enclosed inside two different zeros. So here we don't have any asymptote, right? So here you don't need to calculate those steps which I have explained in my last video. Like you see, number of asymptotes. So there were two asymptotes, right? And then we have calculated angle of asymptotes and centroid of asymptotes. But that we don't need to calculate here. Why the reason is here we have two poles and here we have two zeros. So line will emerge from the poles and it will get enclosed to the zeros. So we don't have any asymptote over here, right? If you say number of asymptotes, then that is total poles minus total zeros. So two minus two, that is zero, right? Now let me explain this poles and zeros in this S plane. So here in S plane on horizontal axis we have real value and on vertical axis we have imaginary value. Here we have first pole that is there at minus 1. So here if I say minus 1 is somewhere over here then we have one pole over here and second pole that is there at plus 1 that is somewhere over here. Right. See we have one zero that is there at minus two. So minus two at which we have zero, right? So by circle, I'm plotting zero and at minus three, we have second zero, right? Now here you need to understand how plot will happen. See, line will emerge from the poles, right? And it will get enclosed to the zeros. So if line which is emerging from this pole, if it is going inside minus 2 directly like this, then line which is emerging from this pole that will have to take some other root over here. And always remember this root locus plot that will be symmetric with respect to real axis means plot will be similar on upper side and on lower side. So here what will happen? See, I am showing you the probability. Here line will emerge from this pole and from this pole right and they will collide somewhere in between this region after that it will come over here there will be two lines that will be symmetric with respect to real axis and then it will enclosed inside minus 2 and minus 3 right so that is how possibilities are there so now based on that possibilities we need to identify breakaway see breakaway point that we can identify based on characteristic equation and characteristic equation is 1 plus gs hs is equals to 0. Here one should know what is gs and hs that is given in this question. Here hs that is unity feedback means it is 1 and gs that is this. Let us substitute that over here. Now based on characteristic equation to identify breakaway first of all identify the constant k. So here, if you take this one on other side, then that will be negative and do cross multiplication. So s plus 1 into s minus 1 in numerator, it will be s square minus 1. 
and in denominator we have s plus 2 into s plus 3 so multiplication of this that will be s square plus 2s plus 3s means plus 5s plus 2 into 3 that is 6 right so that is how we have constant k right now based on this constant k we need to identify breakaway and that we can identify by differentiating this k with respect to s and dk by ds that is 0 right so if you differentiate this then what will happen see here we have differentiation s per a divided by b right so if you differentiate as per a divided by b then here basic equation is b means this denominator into differentiation of numerator that is 2s minus numerator that is s square minus 1 and differentiation of denominator so differentiation of denominator that is 2s plus 5 right and divide by square of denominator and that is equals to 0 over here so we need to simplify this equation see this is getting multiplied with 0 right now if you observe this 2s that is getting multiplied over here so it will be 2 into s cube then we have 10 s square then we have 12 s and then we have minus s square into 2s that is 2 s cube then we have minus s square into 5 so that will be minus 5 s square then minus minus plus 2 s plus 5 that is what the equation which we have now with this equation this is getting cancelled as cube term and we have 10 s square minus 5 s square so that will be pi s square and here we have 12 s and 2 s so that will be 14 s and here we have constant phi right that is equals to 0 now we need to simplify this and we need to identify root of s right so how to identify root for second order equation that is simply minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by twice a here b is 14 here a is 5 and we here we have c that is 5 right so let us substitute that so here we will be having two roots first time we will be having plus and second time we will be having minus just do this in calculator you will be getting two roots first root that will be minus 0 0.42 and second root will be minus 2.37 right that is how we will be having two roots if you solve this in calculator now let me have this break away in this root locus so here first break away that is there somewhere at minus 0 0.42 and second breakaway that is there at somewhere minus 2.37 right now here let me explain how to have this so here see there is a breakaway so after breakaway one line that will go in upper side right like this and symmetric line that will go in lower side like this direction wise you need to plot see line is emerging from the pole it will go towards another breakaway and then it will enter inside zeros like this right so that is how we have this plot now in this plot if you carefully observe breakaway is happening somewhere over here so but obviously now it will not intersect to imaginary axis over here right if it is not intersecting to imaginary axis then you don't need to calculate this step which is intersection to imaginary axis right so in this example see we have followed on the three steps right so earlier in rules i have told you it is not necessary to compute all these steps you need to understand how we need to plot root locus right i will be solving in total 11 questions this is just a second question in third question i will increase complexity a bit thank you so much for watching this video